Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Alice Wonder Wax. Today I am going to show you how to draw a balcony and sea scenery drawing in circles. So let's get started. So first you have to take a plate and just draw your circle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my curtains. So first I'm going to start like this. A big curve. From that curve I'm going to take it down. Now I'm going to take a little bit distance over here. And I'm going to bring that down. Now what I'm going to do is connect these two parts using uh, two curved lines. And from that edge I'm going to take another line. So like this I'm going to repeat the another curtain over here. Now the top part of the curtain I'm going to start by doing wiggly wiggly lines. Like this. And now some details. Like that, just few lines. And I'm going to give few lines in the curtain also. So now I'm going to separate the C from the balcony. So for that, what I'm going to do is draw a line in the middle. Like that. So now I've done with that. Now I'm going to do the floor of the balcony. For that I'm going to draw a curved line in the uh, bottom like that. So now I'm going to draw the sun. You can use any um, circular object and just draw half of the circle to get it perfect. Now I'm going to do the shading. So on this line, I'm going to just shade a little bit with my pencil, like that. I'm going to use my blending thumb and shade it. So now we have to uh, shade the sky above the sun. So now I've done the sky, now we have to shade the curtains. So now I've done the shading for the curtains. Now I'm going to start the shading for the water. So for coloring the sea, you have first have to start by giving a thick layer of uh, shading on the corner. And then you can use your blending stump or your tissue. And you can just shade it out. In this way, it will be more easier for you to shade. So that's how you need to do the shading for the C and now we're going to do the design that's on the balcony. For the design you first have to give a thick layer of shading on the outline. And then now we're going to just start giving designs. You can give any type of design you want. Like this, I'm just giving a type of design that I want. Like this, I gave a design. So after done drawing that, you can use a blending stem or a tissue paper to just blend it out. So that it looks more um, nice. So now I'm done with that. So after done with that, you can start with the balcony's grill. For that, you have to follow the balcony's floor line and draw another one above that. Like that. And if you have done those lines over here like this, then try rubbing them out. So now I'm going to do the design that is inside. For the design, you first have to start by putting the last one so that it's easy. Like that. And on next to that, you are going to draw another line like this. And then from there, you're going to take the next one. And then again you're going to draw a line like this. Take the next one. Again you're going to draw a line. 
So now I'm going to use a permanent marker and I'm going to color this place out like this. So before you're going to color it, just make sure that you're drawing it first. Like this, just first draw it with the marker and then shade it. Now we're going to color it. To color the full um, grill. So now I'm going to draw the boat. So I'm going to use 1.0 a pen and I'm going to draw it like this. So what I've done is I sketched it out with a pencil before so that it comes correctly. So now we have to color it inside like this. So now I'm going to draw the birds. Just put a V symbol like that and a small line. You can make how much of birds you want. I'm going to make five. Like so now I'm going to draw the poles. As you can see, I've already sketched it out with my pencil so that it comes okay and perfect. So again, I'm going to go ahead with my marker and I'm going to darken it. Like this. And a smaller one over here. I'm going to repeat it on the other side also. Like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color it inside. So like that you have to color and over here just make one um, box type of symbol over here and color it. Just for some details. So that's the end of today's video. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe and like my channel. Bye bye.